Hey everyone, Blaze here. Welcome back to an anime unboxing, I guess? I haven't made an anime unboxing video in probably two and a bit years. But I guess that's what this is. Um, this uh, is a purchase I never expected to make. Um, but I have, as you've seen in the title of this video, picked up... Oh god, this thing's humongous. The uh, Speed Racer collector's edition from Funimation. Uh, the box it comes in is huge. It's not in the box anymore. I've already taken it out to make this video a little bit more streamlined. But uh, yeah, this contains a Speed Racer and a, a Mark Go 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 and Mark Go 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 Restart. So let's see, you've got the Japanese original version, uncut version of Speed Racer. This is 52 episodes. I believe the original 60s version is only, uh, sorry, the original American uh, adaptation is only 51. And then uh, we've got Restart, which I think is like 26, but it might be more than that given the episode count, actually. But anyway, so yeah, this is the box it comes in, which I actually think is really nice. And uh, as you can see on the back, this contains Speed Racer, uh, wait, Speed Racer, uh, Speed Racer, bleh, <laughs> Speed Racer Bust with sound effects, complete 60s version of Speed Racer, the complete 60s Much Go Go Go, the Japanese version, and then the 1977, uh, sorry, 1997 version, collectible Speed Racer keychain, I haven't seen that, and there's also an on-disc bonus Q&A with Corrine Orr, does that say, who, I've heard her name uh, thrown about a bit. I think she plays either the sister or girlfriend. I haven't. I've never seen Speed Racer, so I think she either plays this character here or the mother. I think it's the mother, but I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway, so it's a nice box. We've got the helmet design on the top, and then some more sketch stuff underneath. It is a really nice box. I honestly, when I've I only saw this box just recently, uh, once I bought the set I looked up some other people's uh, unboxings and stuff, because yeah, I was interested in getting this series um, in its original Japanese form when Funimation announced it, but uh, ultimately uh, it was too expensive, <laughs> so eventually I actually um, decided to... Uh, so yeah, eventually it. I ended up uh, caving in and buying this version, <laughs> which is a very small version. Um, this is just Speed Racer, though. this is just the English dubbed version of the series. It's also 52 episodes. I could have sworn the Japanese version had an extra episode, maybe it doesn't. But anyway, yeah, and this has a really nice look cover. I ended up caving in and buying this after Valkay Inc. Uh, bought it as well. And I, just <laughs> I was just like, you know what, yeah, I'm going to get this because it's super cheap. And I thought, well, while I'm not really that interested in watching the English dubbed version, the Japanese version is out of my price range, it's just, just too much money for a series that I like, I am interested in watching, I appreciate its history in, turn, in the anime industry and stuff, but uh, yeah, it's just not a series um, I'm willing to put down $300 for, which is basically what the, this original collector's edition cost. But anyway, so I picked up this version, which I've shown before, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, and this only contains English stuff. Anyway, so... People weren't that into the collector's edition uh, when it was announced. They didn't like the way it looked, the the bust, which I'm about to show you. Uh, people weren't that into because it kind of looks a bit creepy, <laughs> a bit crazy, the idea of just having this giant uh, head of the main character in your collection. Um, so ultimately, I don't think it sold very well, and now they're basically selling them on clearance, and it dropped below $100 on Amazon. And I decided that's a price I'm willing to jump in on. So I did, and it's already here. I can't believe it. I only bought it a week ago, a week ago. I'm pretty sure, like just over a week ago, or less actually. Might be less. <laughs> Might be less than a week ago. I bought this. Is it like Amazon said it wasn't coming for another week, but it arrived today, which is insane. So. Hello. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, this is the set. It's actually more heavy than I expected it to be. It is very nicely uh, cast, or whatever you might say. Um, I don't really know. I'm not a figure collector, so I don't really know the real terms of the how to describe these things. But yeah, it's got some real weight to it, which is uh, interesting. Uh, the visor moves up and down, which is pretty cool. 
Um, and it comes with sound effects, which I didn't realise until literally a few days ago, but uh, it also comes with batteries already in it, which is cool, so I pulled out the pull tab, and now... Uh, it goes through four different things, so... And... So yeah, uh, it's pretty cool. <laughs> A nice little addition there. Um, the way the discs are stored, you might be wondering, where the hell are the discs? Um, they're actually in the back of his head. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to put this down, this ridiculous thing, and we're going to pull out this, which is just so, um, yeah, it's supposed to come with a key ring, I don't know where it is, there is um, a little compart, ah, okay, actually now I do know where it is because I just found it, um, I'll do that now, just quick then, so yeah, there's a, I did, this looked loose when I got it, and I just thought, uh, maybe it's just, come loose because it's travelled you know the Atlantic Ocean like I'm not going to worry about it too much but no this is actually a tray that pulls out did they even show that properly so yeah it comes out the base and we'll put this down and then wow it's made out of metal and everything it's kind of weird though I don't I'll probably just leave this in the case <laughs> honestly I'm not really that fussed about it not really fussed about any of this in a way, I just kind of wanted the Japanese version of the show, although for the price, and now that I have it, it is kind of cool and it will look kind of cool on the shelf. Anyway, so yeah, we've got a big uh, circle keyring thing, completely impractical, you would never use this, plus it would get all scratched up in no time at all, because uh, yeah, it is made out of metal, it's very nice though, so I'll put that back. I'll put it back and I'll probably don't know if I'll ever see it again. <laughs> I don't know. Just pull it out every now and then, I guess. I don't know, it's just... Yeah. Not something I imagine I'll use. I do actually have key rings I hang up on the wall. I could put it up there. Put them on nails and hang them up as like little trinkets around the collection. Because, uh, yeah, lots of sets came with keychains over the years. Anyway, so this bit comes off. And then we get these really weird compartments. Let's move the camera back a bit. And get a slightly forget like that. So you get all five little sets, and they're kind of booklets that the discs just sit in. I love how the pull tabs on these have checkered flags. I think that is a really nice touch. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> um, they could have just so easy have just been white, but no, they actually are checkered flags. And then we get these little uh, booklets. <laughs> So this is a Speed Racer on Blu-ray. We're going to have to do, move this over just for now. <laughs> so yeah, we've got a Speed Racer on Blu-ray. Get these little compartments. They are in cardboard sleeves, which isn't ideal, obviously, although Blu-rays are less susceptible to scratching. And each uh, page comes with the disc, and then it's what episodes are on that disc. So we've got all 52 episodes of Speed Racer. A little image gallery at the back. Okay, uh, I'll put those back later because they're, they're kind of hard to put back because these kind of flap out a little bit and they need to be more pushed in when you put them in, otherwise, you risk splitting them and stuff as they try to put them back in the trays. Anyway, and then we got the reason I bought this set <laughs> one or two reasons, anyway. Uh, we actually have the original Japanese version. So we got uh, Mark, go, go, go. And uh, yeah, uh, I just don't, I've talked about this before on the channel, I don't really like old American dubs from the 60s and early 70s. Uh, I, it's just a style to them I don't necessarily enjoy. Um, I did check out half of the first episode uh, just to see the video quality, which is immense. This show looks insanely beautiful on Blu-ray. It's one of the earlier coloured anime done by Tatsunoko Productions, obviously. And that's kind of the weird thing about this set. Um, Tatsunoko Productions obviously have a deal and have had some sort of partnership anyway of sorts with um, Sentai Filmworks for the longest time. And Sentai obviously put out all of Gatchaman and Kashan and things like that. Um, they're currently putting up a ton of, well, not a ton, they put up free uh, classic anime on High Dive in beautiful HD. Um, Gold Warrior Lightan, uh, Yoshiro Kumekadok 
and Judo Boy from the 60s as well. Um, the others from the 80s. Uh, yeah, so it's kind of weird in a way that uh, Funimation were able to get this license in particular. Although, obviously Speed Racer is such a more iconic uh, series in the West, and especially America. So uh, maybe Tatsunoka decided it would be better to um, have Funimation handle the property, since Funimation is a more established brand. And um, yeah, and plus Funimation were willing to do this ridiculous set. <laughs> Um, anyway, yeah, so this is what I wanted because I don't like old American dubs, so I wanted the original Japanese, and I now have it, which is cool. This is the only way this ridiculous helmet freaking <laughs> Speed Racer uh, bust is the only way to get this, officially anyway, <laughs> in English subtitles. Um, and then kind of annoyingly, this is kind of the weird thing where it kind of sells, oversells it, because on the front of the box it said 26 discs, 138 episodes. They're telling a fib, um, because that's the Blu-rays, and then we have exactly the same thing here on DVD. So we got the original Speed Racer on DVD, which isn't overly interesting, but we'll just quickly flick through this, I guess. Uh, yeah, this is just kind of pointless to me. <laughs> if this made the pro if this made the box set more expensive, then yeah, the, that's a shame. Because in terms of Speed Racer, anyway, this has been available on DVD in its entirety before, multiple times, I believe. I'm not sure about the Japanese one. I'm pretty sure the Japanese version has never been available on DVD until now. So, um, yeah, or until three years ago, which I think is when the set actually came out. So, yeah. So we've got the DVD version of the Japanese uh, show. Uh, the version of the show, whatever. And then we got the cooler thing. This is exclusive to the set as well. Um, and, yeah, it's actually 34 episodes. So, yeah, that adds up. So yeah, we've got uh, Mark a Go 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 restart. So this is the 1997 uh, version of uh, 1997 series, uh, kind of like a reboot. Um, this is one I expect to enjoy, maybe even more than the original series. Maybe it's not got a higher rate, highest ratings in the world, but um, yeah, I kind of hope to uh, enjoy this series solely because. Um, I expect to get, what, I, what I'll get out of the original, I expect is the animation, which is just looks amazing, as I've said before, and the transfer for it is gorgeous. Uh, this one, I don't know, I, was just, I watched like half an episode of this, and I felt like this might be more up my alley, I don't know, maybe not, but I do hope to enjoy it at least, like it's not very highly rated. Um, interesting thing, this is only on four discs, for, for 34 episodes, so that's nine episodes a disc, uh, for the first three, yeah, so, <laughs> it is subtitle only, I don't know if it's hard subbed, probably not, I suspect, but, um, yeah, it should be okay, it should be okay, it's not ideal, but it should be okay, I guess, <laughs> so, yeah, uh, that is the Speed Racer Collector's Edition. It's pretty cool, actually. Honestly, for a hundred dollars, I think this is a very much a worthwhile purchase because you're getting basically two series. I would put it. I mean, there's five box sets here, <laughs> mini box sets, but you get the original Speed Racer in both Japanese and English, and you get the ninety series as well. And if you think, okay, a hundred dollars, you get the big bust and two seasons. If you were to buy the two seasons separately, if they put them out separately. You would probably imagine you're going to spend about a hundred dollars, if not maybe a bit more. Even um, you could definitely imagine, like here, imagine if they put out a dual audio set of Speed Racer, like a normal edition. Um, I mean, yes, you can buy this for dirt cheap now, but let's imagine like when this first came out that they did they did that. It would have cost like sixty dollars or more for this, and then about thirty five, forty dollars for the 90 series as well potentially so yeah i feel like for a hundred dollars this is definitely worth getting in on like i don't know how many are left that's why i decided to jump in at a hundred dollars um because yeah i was always curious about this set i just wasn't willing to spend the <clears throat> an extortionate amount of money on it this isn't legend of galactic heroes like uh <laughs> it's better quality this is actually in hd and like legend of galactic heroes is a proper uh, uh, film transfer and everything but um, yeah uh, the set isn't amazing or anything and it's certainly like it's cool but more the point it's like it's a bit ugly <laughs> in a way um, and yeah I just didn't want to spend 
three hundred dollars on it. But um, yeah, for a hundred, I think this is definitely worth the money. I feel like I'm going around in circles now, so I'm going to end it here. Um, yeah, we noticed we're back in the other room. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever make videos frequently. I was able to make this one pretty easily, so just need to get over a couple of things. I feel like and just be able to just do it and don't worry about other outside things. Um, yeah, uh, I have a. Um, uh, Massive Maiden Sentai Filmworks Blu-ray thing. I have a bunch of Funimation stuff as well. I have lots of stuff I could show. No promises though. <laughs> um, wait and see. Um, I'm, I've been I've been slightly more busy recently, so uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm Blaze. Thank you for watching this anime unboxing. I hope you enjoyed it. Three years after the set came out. Uh, I'll see you next time.